How do you unbox your brand new Sprint Ray Pro 95S printer? Hey, I'm Dr. Chris Griffin, founder of the 3D Printing Association for Dentists, and this is the video series that helps you get 3D printing started in your practice. So, you've just purchased a brand new Sprint Ray printer. How in the world do you go from getting this big pretty box in your office to getting a printer that you can start using in your office? Okay, so today let's unbox it. I'm Dr. Chris Griffin and I have never done this. Even though I've done tons of stuff in 3D printing, I have always had somebody else unbox these things for me. But I do understand a lot of dentists have this box show up in their office and they need to know what to do. So let's do it today. You guys can go through this journey with me as we all unbox our first Sprint Ray printer together. Okay, first thing, let's get it down on the ground. Okay, now, all right, so, Let's see, We've got to get all this tape off. And this thing is just like you guys. I've had this thing just sitting in my, the floor of my hallway for a week or so. And I know for a fact that's how most of you guys do it. All right. Sprint Ray certainly puts lots of good tape on here. Let's get all that tape off. If you've got a nice big knife, that might work better. Of course, it's also easier to cut yourself, I guess. Man, this is something. Okay, they really do not want this thing to tear up, do they? All right. Okay, so that's a tab. Okay. Good. Now, let's open it up. All right, so we open the box. First thing you're going to see is the Sprint Ray Pro S Desktop 3D Printer Designed for Digital Dentistry Quick Start Guide. It tells you what's all in the box and where to set it up. Okay, so that's that. Let's put that to the side. Okay, we'll put that to the side. And uh, then a welcome thing. What's in the welcome thing? Let's see. Oh, man. Printing readiness, uh, readiness checklist. So you got the checklist. You've got a new user training QR code. Great. Um, some important phone numbers. We'll set that to the side too. Okay. So let's get this top. Let's get this top. So big thing here. You probably want to look. Uh, I have always kept these boxes in a storage unit. So if we ever needed to box it up and send it back in for support, which we've never had to, we've at least got the box, right? So this is, you know, this stuff fits these printers like nothing else will. So save this, save that stuff. In the end, we'll put this in a safe place. Oh, look, check this little sticker out. Let's go ludicrous. Okay, Sprint Ray. <laughs> little marketing strategy. We'll put that to the side. We don't really need that, I don't think. And all right, so very interesting here now these things are heavy right so uh, you got to be able to pick them up out of this heavy out of this box it's very cumbersome so one thing sprint ray does is they put this little sack around it so let's see if we can pick this up pretty easy yeah it's not too bad all right let's set it on the counter okay and in here let's look in the box here uh, you've got a little Sprint Ray box. I bet you that thing's full of accessories. There you go. Accessories. Finishing tools, quick start guide, another quick start guide, warranty guide, and power cable. So we'll save that for later too. Okay. Put all that over here. Save this box. Do not throw it away. And now let's come over and let's take this cloth out from around the edge that helped us pick it up. And that thing is pretty, isn't it? Man, that thing is gorgeous. Um, once you get it out like this, it's not terribly heavy. All right, so we'll, we'll get all that cloth out from under it. Great. Okay. Now, Sprint Ray has been kind enough to give us all this plastic wrap. Let's just take all this off. Okay. You may be doing this with me at home. This is pretty fun. 
All right. So this is no good. We'll set this to the side. Okay. Um, open it up. Now, you know, I know from, from using these things a long time, I guess we'll have to actually turn it on to get this build plate up so we can detach the tray and everything. So, so let's hold on to that. And we've got another sticker, learn the Sprint Ray workflow. Uh, gives you a QR code to scan for SprintRayTraining.com. Okay, great. Let's take that sticker off. I'm actually going to save that sticker. I know I probably have this same information somewhere else. We're going to save that sticker though for now. Okay, so uh, I guess let's turn it. Let's find some power, huh? So we probably need to go back to the accessory box to get our power cord. Betcha. Let's see here. There, there's the power cord. So open the box. Here you go. You got some cleaning cloths. Uh, this is a little thing that you cut the uh, scaffolding with uh, to mix the resin. Uh, this is to pop the models off of the build plate and power cord. So let's get that power cord. We'll set the accessory box over to the side. And, uh, you know, you guys can see you need a little bit of a work area <laughs> to get this thing unboxed and working. You know, once you do that, it's a very small footprint. But in the beginning, you know, hey. Um, so let's, let's look back here. Let's look at the back. So if we look at the back of it, okay, look, you got a place for the power cord right here. And we're going to put that fella in. Then let's plug her in. Oh, the light came on. So let's go back to the front and see what it did to the front of our printer. What are we thinking here? Oh, it's thinking. It's thinking. Okay. So while it's thinking, let's look at our quick start guide. All right, so we have plugged in the Pro S. That was step number three. Now, at some point, we should have a message on here, right? Well, look at there. What's happening? Let's look. This might freak you out if you've never uh, done this before. So that is your bill plate going up to the proper position. It said we were supposed to get a hello get started message. We didn't get that, but that's okay. I don't think we need it. Uh, so it says prepare resin tank. It's pre-installed. So you lock the tank in its cradle uh, and you unlock it gently. Let's make sure. Let's see if it's locked in the cradle. So this is the cover for the resin. Do not throw this away, folks. Please do not throw this away. Um, keep this forever. You'll want to use it over and over. Here is our, here's our resin tank, okay? So it should be pre-snapped in. Let's see. Yes, it was. So if you take this out, uh, resin tank has these little grooves. You put it down right here. And push it in. It should be locked in. Okay, and on here um, we got a few new things. Log into dashboard. Let's go ahead and try to do that. Let me log in. Now you guys don't steal my password, please. Oh well, never mind. Hold on. This is going to happen to you too, right? Um, can't log into the dashboard till we get on the Wi-Fi. Let's connect to the network. All right, Griffin. All right. Let's see if it lets us in. It did. Now let's log into the dashboard. There we go. Look at that. It always says basic account. You know, it did that. It always does that to us. I don't know why. We're, we have a pro account, but anyway, it'll probably fix that. So, hey, look, if you've got a pro account and it says basic, just know that it probably may say that in the beginning, right? It's good to know. So... Let's go over here now and see uh, change printer nickname. Currently it's called the PS9P. Uh, well, nickname Pro S. So let's change the nickname to, uh, let's go, so there's a lot of Pro S's, right? Let's call it the Pro S95. 
uh, Pro S95, and that should be good enough. So that's that. So we change the nickname. Um, system language English, printer, uh, screen cleaning mode. I've not ever used that. Calibration, uh, you may need that sometime, who knows. Connectivity, we're connected now um, with our wireless connection, with our, with our in-office Wi-Fi, the account. Oh, now look, it's changed. Now it says I have a pro account. So if it happens to you, don't be surprised, right? And software, let's see, software updates. Um, we probably want to update it, right? I mean, I don't know. So why not? Let's see if there are any updates. Well, while I was thinking about this, so let me see a bottle of resin. Let's see. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna show you guys, I'm not gonna actually load this thing up right now, but I'm gonna show you what you would do if you've never seen one before, so you will know. Um, and the software update, I'm sure, I don't think it's that important, I think we've already got it. But so there, so let's say you have, you know, you want to make models. So Dyn Model 2 Tan. That's a pretty common model resin. It's updating the firmware. Uh, you would take this, unscrew the top, dump the resin in here up to the fill line. And this build plate, let's always make sure it's locked in before you start a print, right? So you just look at it. Yeah, it looks good. Now, sometimes before we do an actual print, we may take something and roughen this up. You know, it's fine, it's got little grooves in it, but the rougher the better on the build plate. Let's just snap that right back in. It's got, a, you hear it snap in, then you rotate this red top, the red thing uh, clockwise till it stops right there. Don't put too much pressure. And then I think we're, we're pretty, this thing should be pretty much ready to go. So this, let's look real quick before I let you guys go. Let's go back and see if we missed anything. Here's the welcome, the welcome thing it said. Printing readiness checklist, uh, create a workspace based on the size requirements of your product. So as you can see, uh, as you can see, you know, this is, doesn't take up that much space. Register for cloud design at sprintready.com. Uh, so if you want to let them do some cloud design, learn how to export STL files from your intraoral scanner. You know, watch new user training video series, okay. Download Rayware on your computer. You will need to do that and uh, visit the SprintRay.com store to view resins and accessories. I would scan this QR code, go ahead and start your training. Uh, free Q&A session. So you want to get that scheduled. You know, if you're new to this, you definitely want it. If you've had a bunch of these already, you may just be fine without it, right? Um, SprintRay, so Knowledge Center, Cloud Design, Support Hotline. So anyway, that's it. Um, this is, this is interesting. So sometimes you get this error that says it has no build plate when the build plate's on there. So simply I undid the build plate, snapped it back in, redid it, and it resolved the issue. So now it's, you see the green, it's ready to print. Uh, you can send a print job from Rayware uh, from the queue or insert a USB drive to get started. Uh, everything looks healthy. Uh, you need, you know, here's, let's look real quick at the two buttons here, change resin, check status. So check status, uh, resin tank, green check mark, build platform, green check mark. Let's look at the resin. Uh, you actually have to pick your resin. So let's just say we're gonna do uh, Dyan Model 210. It's a Sprint Ray resin. So we'll pick Sprint Ray. Look at there, Dyn Model 210. Save that dude. And now, now it's ready to go. So it knows the resin you're using. It says everything else is good. So that's good. If you wanted to change resin, you would come back here. You could pick any resin you wanted to. Looks like uh, Dreve, Bego, Denka, Keystone, and Nextdent all have resins you can pick from. Uh, this is new, I'm just gonna see. So Dreve IBT and Dreve Guide. Bego, Varseo Smile Crown Plus, Varseo Smile Temp, Varseo, Varseo Smile Teeth, Denka, a ton of them, Keystone, a ton of them, Next Dent, a bunch, you know, Ortho Clear Denture Base, 
Crown and Bridge, MFS, MFH Bleach, MFH N2, and uh, Surgical Guide. And that's it, you know, Sprint Ray, obviously tons and tons of resins on the Sprint Ray side we're here. I mean, it's a Sprint Ray printer, so you're gonna, you can imagine all the different resins, right? So, oh, they've even got Ceramic Crown, which just came out, uh, I think, February 23rd, 2023. So, uh, so this is already on here, even though we, this was sitting in the hall before that date. So, so that's great. Uh, we got everything on here. So yeah, guys, we're ready to print. Everything's green. We're gonna load this, light this thing up and start printing with it. So when you get your new 95S, this is what you can expect. And uh, hope you got hope you got some good out of this video, and it didn't it helped you not feel uh, like you weren't you know sometimes when I buy something new I'm just not sure, and hopefully we helped you guys figure out that uh, what you needed to see here. Hey, remember the association? We have a, a website with tons of freebies on it. We've got free checklists there. We've got a free report on all the mistakes you might make in the beginning to help you get past those. If you want to go grab those free resources just go to 3dpa.org we've got all those there and uh, we want to do more videos like this for you so we will see you guys next time